Hi everyone and Happy New Year's. It's so great to be back. So I just kind of wanted to go through, I guess, what I'm going to be working on for 2016. And I hope you have some great resolutions as well. Um, let's see, I've already been living in Alabama for 10 months and this will be my 11th month this January. So once I finish out the month, I'll be here for practically a year. On February 28th, I'll, well, we'll be here for a year. That being said, it's time to kind of let California go a little bit more. This year was, I think, harder for me because I had to kind of find my place here in the South. And I think in the last couple of months, November, December, I was able to find a place where I'm happy, where I'm valued at work. And not only that, but um, I've been learning a lot at work and I feel like I've kind of come back like in a way because I feel like I lost a lot of myself in my 20s. Having to kind of go back to fashion and jewelry has kind of changed my perspective a lot on a lot of things and that is to just like never give up and accept that I'm not a Californian anymore. Roll Tide y'all. Roll Tide. <laughs> so that being said there is when I first moved down here I saw a lot of like bleached hair, black roots, intense suntan. In the last year I was living in California, I worked in a predominantly Vietnamese town where the women actually wore a very pale foundation, didn't suntan at all. That was actually a little tough getting used to because I kind of grew up behind Disneyland where most people were either white or Hispanic. So going from, you know, drawn on eyebrows to overlined lips, very big earrings, always done up to going to a different version of done up with the Vietnamese community in California to all of a sudden this like sort of dressed down, overly tan beach life. I was like, where do I like find myself? Like, I think when I work in the Vietnamese community, I learned to accept my own skin tone because a lot of the women kind of wanted my skin tone. I saw some of the severe sun damage that the beach was doing to people and I really would not let myself have any direct contact um, with any sun this year. I'm like the palest beach person I know. Um, sunscreen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I started looking around for things I actually did like, I think it was literally when I started working at back in fashion. Um, people in California when they go to the beach they want to look super cutesy, wear teeny tiny little bikinis and down here um, it's not really the case. You know the food is <laughs> is is heavier and people wear one pieces, they wear big big simply southern shirts. They don't diet and exercise all year like Californians do. So like the beach style kind of is not the same here that I'm used to. So I don't necessarily need to lose myself with that, but next year, being that I am accepting where I'm at, I'm definitely going to buy some more beach clothes, ones that I like, and then, you know, more bohemian style dresses, things that I like, because it is really hot down here, and I didn't really buy that much clothing this year until I started working at the boutique. I mean, not to brag or anything, but I bought like four tops this year. So <laughs> next year, I want to buy a few more things. I have kind of feel like... The last few years that trends in clothing have been in style, I didn't really like any of it. I think it was all like just a lot of stuff. There was no definition for trends. Um, I kind of am digging the sort of 90s revival with the little floral dresses and brown lips. That was like the only lip color I would wear in middle school was the brown lips because it was still the 90s. Down here it's all about layering, which it definitely was still in California. but. Um, down here, the layering gets a little more intense. You do have to wear heavier coats. You do have to be very nude in the summertime. And so investing wisely on the pieces of clothing you buy so and things that can kind of mesh with different seasons and trends for the following year is what I'm going to be investing my money in. I'm going to be buying more sandals, more cute shoes. 
Another resolution I have is to go back to getting pedicures once every six weeks. When I started doing pedicures on other people, I started just doing my own pedicure. And that's kind of not the way to treat yourself. Um, my kind of goal with my savings plan and my money situation is to create the stacking savings method where you just pay off your credit cards that you have to so you're always at 100% and when one gets paid off then you do the stacking method that way you're not out extra cash so my goal is to um, really cut down on my debt and it had probably been maybe five or six years since I had any debt to begin with. And the fact that I have debt this year just because I moved and had a few jobs that didn't work for me, um, yeah, that's going to happen. And, you know, you, I have a new place and I had to get new debt things. And I honestly didn't overspend on things for the house. I almost wish that's, that's what my debt was. But seriously, my debt was all kind of accrued um, in a disposable manner. Like, I kind of didn't have the funds some weeks to feed myself, so I had to put it on my cards. So this this year is going to be about paying that off, not charging anymore, and um, using the stacking method, not putting too much stuff on my cards, because then if you run out of cash to feed yourself and get yourself something nice, then you have to put something in. So no, I'm not going to overpay my cards, which is what I tend to be guilty of, because I want that debt gone. It's like I have a fear of debt. I don't like it. That's why I don't ever really have anything crazy. I don't have crazy name brand things. I have a lot of high-end makeup, but I don't buy a ton of clothes, a ton of jewelry. I don't have my hair or my nails done every two weeks. Another resolution for 2016, speaking of hair, I want to try to not straighten it as often. My goal for 2016 is to go more natural. <laughs> And I plan on sticking with it. <laughs> As you can see today, I'm just really wearing curling enhancers, a saltwater spray. The air is so humid in Alabama, you kind of, that's how you have to roll. For sure. Roll tight. <laughs> Anyways, my other goal this year is to create a few stacks of bracelets. Um, create the beautiful bracelet stacks that... I don't know if it's an Alabama girl thing or if it's a trend all over, but I do know a lot of bohemian yoga girls, they like the stacks. And so I'm slowly but surely working on mine. I have two Alex and Ani bracelets, the Hand of Fatima and the Little Mermaid um, that my sister sent me from Disneyland. It's a Disney exclusive Little Mermaid, not the mermaid from Alex and Ani. And then um, I'm also getting a uh, Luca and Danny bracelet for my birthday with the Swarovski crystal. It's the Arc stone I did pick it out and he bought it in front of me <laughs> but uh, I won't be getting it till the 22nd so I'm working on my on my stacks I'll have a link down below for all the bracelets I mentioned with the exception of the hand of Fatima which I have the discontinued one so I'll put a link for the current hand of Fatima if you want to kind of check and see what I like for or what I've collected for my stack um, and then it, I feel it kind of all goes in hand in hand, especially because I'm an Arctic warrior. I actually found a studio, a community studio, and I'm really glad I did because it's very inexpensive for class because I just can't hold off any longer on my, I guess, physical, mental, and flexible health. Um, my body has actually great muscle memory, and when I went back to yoga, I was so happy that I kind of played around and Googled this class. And um, I had a lot of yoga gear saved up on my Amazon wish list, which my boyfriend uses my account because I'm prime. And he looked through it and he got me a lot of um, yoga stuff for Christmas. He didn't get the pieces I picked because I'm super cheap and I saved like $2 exercise tops, bras, and like $5 pants. He got me something much nicer from Old Navy and a pair of little like workout shoes to match. and. He went all out on getting me nice yoga clothes, which I would have never bought for myself. I did get myself a nice chakra yoga mat October, and uh, so he just kind of capped it off with new yoga gear for me for Christmas. And, uh, this year, I, I do like kind of the area mat because you can travel to New Orleans, you can travel to Atlanta. There's a lot of things to see down here that it's very close. Like Jamaica is like a two hour plane flight away. so. My goal this year is to try to get out and travel more. I have another goal also where I want to get a 
um, tattoo that says Joie de Vivre, Joy, Joy of Life. That was a big, very sweet note my sister sent to me when I moved down here, like how, you know, my family's going to miss me and everything. I took a picture of that note, and I have it, but I don't want anything to happen to that note. So, I kind of want Joie de Vivre tattooed on me with like an anchor, some flowers, and I want it on my forearm, which I think is a huge step for me in doing any body artwork because I've always liked to be very flexible with my body artwork. I've liked to always been able to hide it when I want. So it'll be a big deal for me to get a tattoo on my forearm, but um, I feel like I'm never gonna be working corporate at this point in my life. I know that's not for me. I know I would never be happy working corporate, but if I did, I, would, I could wear a jacket or a sweater. So, um, I think I want something really, like, positive. And I feel like people have accepted tattoos these days where maybe they hadn't before when I started collecting tattoos. They're really so mainstream now. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the other thing, and this kind of goes with my savings plan, the stocking method and not overpaying on my cards, is to try to get one nice kind of new piece of makeup once a month so I'm not overspending. I want to try to incorporate getting fashion and kind of getting jewelry and kind of getting makeup, maybe one item per paycheck, and just kind of try to keep it like that so I'm not overspending or depriving myself, because sometimes when you really, really, really like deprive yourself of getting nice things for yourself, you go all overboard finally when you get a chance. And then, so I need to create more balance with, with, um, that in my life and have fun. Uh, this year, last year, I didn't get myself anything. I barely got my hair done last year. I barely bought any makeup. I bought like three palettes, maybe two palettes last year. So my goal is to stay abreast of trends and fully embrace them and try them out and not to be like a slave to style or trends, but try them out because I've been really just kind of rocking classic looks the last few years when just everything was in style. It was very overwhelming. So I'm kind of going to try to pick a direction and really focus on what's awesome and not be afraid to mix and match and style it up my way so it stays true to me and not like trend slavey. <laughs> Is that a word? So 2016, y'all, what are your resolutions? What are you going to be embracing this year? What are you going to be changing? Um, what are you going to be trying? Um, yeah, let's, let's talk about it. So yeah, the next video I'm going to have coming up is all going to be about uh, foods, dieting trends, weight loss, health and fitness. I know that's a big thing with people for the new year. So that's it. And I think after we do that weight loss video, we're going to be doing favorite 2015 beauty products or yeah, we'll do worst and best probably. And then we'll just kind of have that go for the first week of January, hopefully. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this one and happy 2016. Bye. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and all anxiety? For all anxiety, my dear, for all anxiety, we'll take a cup. Yet for all Take a cup of kindness yet for